Our quest for an awesome couples camper continues. So we're gonna take a look at the Riverside Retro 189R. Hey, I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two crazy, crazy campers. campers. After losing a combined weight of more than 200 pounds, we realized we had so much more energy for activities. Come along with us as we explore the great outdoors. And join us on a brand new adventure. So Rachel, when we first started looking for a rig, really was into the retro looking trailer. It is so cute. I mean, I am a Happy Days fan from way back. So anything that looks Happy Days-ish, anything that Fonzie would stay in, I want to stay in. So we're going to take a look at this Riverside Retro 189 are and as always we're gonna start on the inside so here we are in the inside and there is storage as soon as you take a step in the door so I do like that so there's a, that's a nice cabinet put your coats in there nice drawers here and here's a sink look at this what do you have a little extra sink I guess that's gonna be like your bathroom sink I guess so so you can have a little bit more room in the toilet area that's kind of nice. So you can brush your teeth while I take a shower. I like that. Roomy enough. Okay. Especially with the shower curtain. Okay, so here's the problem. Ready? I can tell you the exact. You're looking at. Now I am take, six feet. You can take a shower and I can watch you. I'm six feet. So there's no, no uh, dome over me. And I'm hitting the roof here. And yeah. I am not a fan of this shower at all. Don't like that. But I am a fan of the sink. Yeah, that is a nice big sink. That is beautiful. So we got our stove. Same little worthless oven that we have in our rig. <laughs> Furion microwave. Take a look at this fridge. Yes. It is going to be a two-way. Looks like this is twenty-four thousand four hundred and seventy-seven dollars here at a show, down from twenty-nine two ninety-six. Okay, so we got more storage here, more storage here. They definitely kept the theme going in this dinette. It looks like we're about to have a sock hop, and I'm loving it. Definitely like that. So, you got your little Furion piece here, HDMI in. Uh, let's see, where would you mount your television? I'm assuming your television is going to mount right here. Okay, so let's see. So, okay, so that's the cover for your propane. So you got a little bit of underbed storage. And lots of cabinets around it. Yeah, very nice. The, like these the cabinets plugs. are very similar to ours. Nice plugs back there. Plugs in the back and there's a little shelf area. The one thing I would tell you is that it would be nice instead of having a door here and a door there and see it does pass through all the way i'd like to see a third door yeah you know because you have to reach all the way in and climb on top of the bed stuff gets shifted in transit now i'm not crazy about how they finish this 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 doesn't look as as posh as I would like. I think that they could have finished this a little bit better. It would be nice if this was a fan, not just a vent. Yeah. Be nice to have a Max Air fan in there. Okay, let's let's uh, head on outside to do the follow-up. Just so let other people get in here. Okay, so taking a look at the outside, I do like the rear door. Now, here's something interesting. We have the conventional fold-down steps but it has a step stabilizer down there on the bottom. So I, here's one of your favorite things, right? You love these hubcaps. How cute are those? In fact, the entire exterior is a huge selling point to me because this looks like, you know, a malt shop. We do have a nice power awning here, a little bit of storage here. Looks like it's locked. It looks like it's locked, so. But I think it's a pass-through. Uh, well, we'll see when we get to the other side. Do have a nice diamond plate here. Place for your batteries. Got your place for your propane tank there. Power tongue jack, I definitely like that. Well, yeah, here is your storage. That's a decent amount of storage for this little camper. It's not luxurious, but it's cute. Yeah, take a look at this though. I mean, I guess they're trying to give you more storage to go into the cap, but 
you're you kind of it would be nice to have another piece of wood over there that'd probably be the first modification i made to that just finish it here's your hot water heater external shower 30 amp connection water fill up Downside. that looks like that's a black tank possibly that's nice or maybe just your actual water tank that's going to be your water fill so cable here so let's see we got there's our back of our refrigerator sewer connections there's your square bumper furion camera backup really beautiful from the back side okay so have you found a replacement for eleanor yet i have not not in this trailer although i really do like it because it's super super cute okay so i'm gonna start off with my dislike okay what's your dislike my dislike is that whole bathroom yeah i don't i would rather make that bathroom bigger shift the kitchen down a couple of feet put a smaller sink i don't need such a big this is a small weekend couples camper yeah i don't need that giant sink in there you, you just need a little bowl cut out some of that sink move everything down maybe give me a two burner stove but make that bathroom bigger because that thing is way too i don't even like the fact that there's so i know this is gonna sound a little gross but i'm Here going go. to go potty yeah and then I've got to open up the door after going potty to get out to go to the sink to wash my hands. Yeah, especially, I know we're not bringing kids along on this, but if you did bring a guest, you would want to know that like they've got the whole, like the sink and everything together. Yes. Not a fan of that. Maybe every single time you go to the bathroom, just take a shower. That'll solve it. That's a good point. Just so what that. about you? What's your dislike? My dislike on this one is going to be the little finishing to touches. Like the where they didn't finish the wood all the way under the carriage and, and how they finished um, over the bed. Mm -hmm. Wasn't thrilled with that. I think that they did a great job of like decorating and making this like super kitschy. But they just needed to take it just a little bit more. Okay, what about your like? My like is the storage. There is a ridiculous amount of cabinetry in this thing. I agree on that one. Yeah, I what agree. about you? Okay, so my like on this one is, it's gonna be so super simple, but this is an entry level travel trailer, mm -hmm. right? You know, you got the aluminum side. Aside from the cuteness. It's so cute. It's, it's the steps. So they're not going yes. with the solid steps, which I don't like the solid steps. I know everybody loves those more right solid steps. I don't like them. I feel very okay? strong about this. I, I feel very strong. I do not like those more right solid steps for several reasons. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that they made that well, little modification stable. to that thing and put that little stabilizer bar on the bottom to world of difference. And if you want a bonus one, tandem axle. Well, I'm gonna say I, I have to piggyback on those steps too because I always take two trips, at least on every trip that we take. One is the trip and one is down the stairs every single time. Well, that's gonna be today's video. Now, if you like this video, please just favor, hit that like button down below. It really helps out the channel. And also make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell button and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Happy, happy camping. camping.